Greetings and salutations, fellow humanoids, and welcome to the first episode in our series, 100 Dusty Games. Today, rolled randomly, is Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, a story-rich adventure game in which we have to guide two brothers on an epic fairy tale. It was developed by Starbreeze Studios and published by 505 Games. So let's get right to it. And I gotta say that I love that Kolning style singing in the background. It's a Swedish herding call, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful. Let's get right at it. Nayi! Nayi! Ta! Ata Nayi! Ata! All right. Looks like we got our brothers here, big brother and little brother. That's how we'll refer to them from now on. So we have to control them individually. Oh boy. Okay, I think I got it. Controls need a bit of practice. <coughs> Essentially, you have to control both joysticks to control the brothers individually. I wonder who this fellow is on a carriage, our father, maybe? It doesn't look so good. And if he's on the way out, well, our children are going to become orphans in a minute. Need help a big brother here. All right, so big brother has more physical strength to him. Interesting, so there's some puzzle elements to the game. 
Uh, I see. So you activate big brother here, then small brother. And like, so he could climb. But maybe he doesn't have the physical strength to uh, wind that crank. So, yeah, we lower the rope for big brother. He comes up. Now I guess we could work together and work the crank. And yeah, just turning both joysticks makes us turn the crank. Interesting mechanics to the game. And you control them both separately with the two different joysticks, which is pretty neat. Takes some getting used to, but uh, I like it. Alright, hold on there, Pops. Alright, so it looks like we have to uh, venture into the wild to grab something from what might be Yggdrasil itself, uh, straight out of Norse myth, which is pretty neat. However, I get a feeling we have our work cut out for us, so let's get to it, I guess. Uh, he looks like trouble. So he's not convinced. All right. I like how uh, everybody talks kind of like in The Sims. You know, they just uh, speak uh, various gibberish. So it looks like we're gonna have to go around them. Oh, little brother scared of water, of course. Makes sense. Right. Big brother will carry little brother across the waves. This must be one of the quaintest games I've played in a while. Can little brother climb this on his own? Yes, he can. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy is starting to be a pain, isn't he? Right. All right. It looks like we're gonna have to go around. Uh, can we climb this here? All right, so you do this Assassin's Creed uh, jump up kind of climbing. Oop. Uh, oop. Pretty nimble, kids. Interesting how you simultaneously control two characters. It's not something you see in a lot of games, but uh, the controls are pretty simple. It's just a uh, left and right trigger and the left and right joystick on a controller. And you control both at the same time. Okay. Let's go rotate the camera with the bumpers. 
Very nice. Where do we want to go, though? Can we climb on this, maybe? Yeah, looks like it. Oop. I guess we have to careful, uh, be careful not to uh, split him up too far. I think this door is locked, but anyway, we got this that we can obviously climb. Come on, big brother, keep up. Okay, maybe one at a time here. Ooh. Okay, you're playing with fire, buddy. You're lucky I don't have an axe. Alright, little brother can squeeze through. Oh, that's a big doggy. Serves you right. <laughs> Poetic justice, everybody. Trouble at home. Kitty. Hmm. Hey, um, I know. You mind, sir? Hey. Okay, <laughs> Come on, get up, buddy. There we go. Man, don't ask too much about uh, from these people. Looks like, jeez. Hey, babushka. Don't you have any compote? Really nice game. It's not very uh, young, the game, so it has aged fairly well in terms of graphics, and uh, the art style slightly remembers me of the original Fable. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was never one for harps. Hey, looks like we got a natural here. Thank you, thank you. Uh, a bard in the making, I guess. Or should I say a scald? Looks like drunkards and hooligans will be our main uh, hurdles in our adventure at the beginning. Excuse me. Oda, when hadi? Yeah, thanks for nothing. Hey, 
<laughs> mm, enjoy there, buddy. It's cold. Looks like we can get around the dog by distracting him. Hey! 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 Alright, straightforward enough. What's your daisy? Got him. Hey. Bye, Poochie. I like how intuitive the game is. There isn't no much need of a tutorial or whatnot. You could just look at the environment and pretty much guess what you have to do. Which is a sign of good development. What do we got here? Can we jump this? <laughs> Alright, this looks familiar. Same old song and dance. Send little brother up. Little brother sends the rope down for big bro. Beautiful. Let's see if I could climb both at the same time here. Yeah, nailed it. No birdie. If I if I move uh, Big Brother too much to the left and Little Brother too much to the right, I'm gonna start getting my uh, joysticks crossed and start running in opposite directions. I don't know what this bird does, but I want to interact with him. So it looks like we got a little hamster wheel we could run in here. Let's just see if there's anything over here we missed. Doesn't look like it. Although we could climb up this, it looks like. That's a lot of bunny rabbits. Have you seen Yggdrasil? Oh yeah, yeah. That way. Daisy. Oh, it doesn't hold. Okay. So we have to find a way to lock it, maybe? Sheep aren't aggressive, aren't they? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh. Alright. 
Okay. I'm not exactly sure how we should get Big Brother on the other side, though. Don't see any mechanisms. Hmm. I guess we're gonna have to find a... Maybe we have something missing here. So let's go down where we saw the rabbits. What's going on here? So, four black rabbits and one white. Why? Oh. Hmm. So they don't like the white rabbit. I kind of feel bad for the rabbit. <laughs> oh, there we go. I think I figured it out. So you need Big Bro to lift a sheep and bring him to the hamster wheel, perhaps? There we go. Science! Stop petting your sheep. <laughs> So maybe there was a secret going on with the rabbits, but uh, we don't have the time to putter around. Let's get to it. Only get one episode per game after all. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Here's somebody giggling in the bushes, maybe. Or crying. Definitely crying. <laughs> that is a big dude. He seems all right. It looks to me like uh, there may be a wife missing. Or is this a female? I can't tell, to be honest. Oh, don't step on me. Kind of big. Just checking. Yeah, even Big Bro doesn't have the upper body strength. Uh, big bro, you go first. <laughs> Terrifying yeah. and fun. Oh, wow. Neat. Thanks, buddy. Hmm. Wow. Beautiful. Oops. <laughs> you have to hold on with the trigger on to that, of course. Atta. Yeah. Such a gentle giant, isn't he?
You know, I'm still not sure if it's a guy or a girl, so I guess we should refer to them as they. Um. Yeah. Oh, nice. Excuse me. Funny how the most help we're getting from an NPC is from a giant. Or an ogre. Or a troll. I'm not sure what it is in this myth. Um, going left or right here? I'm not sure. I'm guessing left. Yeah, we just have to wait for our friend here. Maybe we're going to be helping them to find their uh, significant other. That's a pretty long jump. Mm. Let's just see if our friend does anything here. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, nice throw. Hey, come on, big bro. Stop lagging behind. All right, where to now? Uh. Yikes. Oh, right. Little bro doesn't like the water. Sorry, little bro. Forgot. There you go. One can swim without the other. Sure, let's go. So I guess this is the part where we help out the giant. All right, what do we have here? I guess that little bro can slip through this, of course. Hmm. So these benches must be just for scenic views in which you sit both guys down and just soak in the view. Wow, look at that water wheel. Was this made by the dwarves, I wonder? Maybe. Oh boy.
parkour. Man, I'm really lucky. I'm really liking the steampunk uh, mechanism. Nothing in that corner, it seems. What's this? Hmm, don't know. This looks important. Oh boy, we have to fit this through this. like we can. Boy, it's like moving a sofa out of a small apartment. Some of you might be able to relate. Pivot! Pivot! Okay, so far so good. A bit here. Oh, maybe we could jam the mechanism with this. Alright, so if we bring it above like so, very cool. Looks like we can maybe raise a bridge here. Ooh, what's this? let go will it retract okay looks like it's holding very nice pretty neat mechanism you got there kind of reminds me of Dwemer ruins in the Elder Scrolls That's a pretty long jump for a little guy. Hmm, looks like it's gonna be up to little bro to get uh, passage for our big bro. I see a hook up there. There we go. Oh, we have to hold on to it. Whoopsie daisy. what happens if I let go. Nah. What's going on here? Slave labor, huh? Why wasn't I called? I wonder if this is a optional area with the fish. You catch one with your hands. Let's not waste too much time here. I want to show as much as possible in a single episode. Of 
quite nice. I have no idea what fish are doing there, but still pretty nice. All right, got another one of these things. Let's see what it does. Okay, basically it just turns these on, it looks like. Here we go. Uh, looks like we have to hold this. Oh, have to keep turning. Oh, jeez. Should be fine. That goes little, bro. Big bro, I mean. Little bro will follow this way. I feel like if they get too far apart, we might lose. So let's keep them close to each other, shall we? Hmm, I get a feeling that this is going to move this, so... Put big bro on this. Yeah, of course. This moves the crane. Little bro goes here. Oop, too late for that one. Let's just wait for the next hook for Big Bro. Jolly go operation. Look at this well chiseled stone here, all nice and blocky. Up you go, gents. Daisy. There we go. One at a time. Another scenic view, huh? Pretty cool. Hold it. Whoops. Something bad happened. <laughs> Alright. 
Too close for comfort, right? Um, yeah, okay. Next, that was, uh, uh, is this gonna... Yep, it is, okay. Yep, running, running. Was this the mines of Moria? Jeez. Ah, well, there must be the significant other of our friend. Poor thing. Okay, so you got bad giants. Hmm. What does this thing do? I see. That uh, activates the gate, but we need the key. So I guess the little bro's gonna have to slip in. That's a lot of bones. Oh, let's not step on the bones. Yoink. Keys are as big as the kid's upper body, jeez. Alright. True scoundrel in the making, the little bro. Click. Oops. There we go. All right, let's get the lady home. Oh, she doesn't look so good. You messed it up, kid. <laughs> uh -oh. um, I wonder. Get some. <laughs> ah, yes. Work with your environment, I guess. Oh, she's back. have their proper position it looks like okay can we turn this thing? doesn't look like we could turn it it's fine though we should be able to jump across here Well then, after defeating the first boss, I think that this is a good place to leave the episode. 
Uh, I really enjoyed this game, actually. I was surprised. Uh, I didn't expect that much from it. It seemed like a rather humble game, and it is, but it is very well executed mechanic-wise. Uh, I mean, uh, just the way you interact with the environment is uh, pretty seamless, and uh, the puzzles are intuitive enough to be uh, entertaining and not too challenging that you have to scratch your head for 15 minutes wondering what the hell you have to do. So yeah, this is where I'm going to believe in it. I hope you liked it. I sure did. And uh, if I had to give this game a score, I'd give it a solid five cans of maple syrup. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, nothing wrong with the game by any means. Uh, the graphics may be a little bit dated, but, you know, it's uh, you can't, you know, blame the game for that. Then again, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Tell me what you think of the game in the comments below. I might finish it on my own free time. That being said, I hope you have a great day, everyone. Take care of yourselves, take it easy, wash your hands, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.